Yeah, I think you I think you hit the nail on the head there. I was listening to Josh Pate last night, and he said he feels like both with Auburn and Texas A and M, he feels like they've been playing for two years at this point. When you when you look back at that Auburn and Mississippi, Arkansas and Mississippi State losses, that that feels like two months ago, but it was really you know beginning of September. Absolutely. And uh, of course, with Texas A&M's win over Alabama, that's opened up the race to everyone to a certain extent. Auburn certainly has control. They can, uh, they've got a number of rough games ahead of them, but with Alabama at the end, they've got, uh, uh, they've got control of the division, but then Texas A&M can wrestle it away. Um, And then Alabama, of course, has control as well. It's going to come down to the Iron Bowl if Auburn's able to win through. But let's get to Saturday night. Auburn, uh, let's clean up any injury possibilities coming off a of bye week. Uh, you're pretty confident, uh, even though you still have yet to hit, hear from Jimbo Fisher this week, that Tyree uh, Johnson's in good shape. Yeah, so we'll we'll hear from Jimbo Fisher on the SEC teleconference. He speaks at about 1130 Central. Um down here and and but he seemed pretty confident on Monday that Tyree Johnson would be good to go. Said he would he was expected to return to practice on Monday after leaving the at the end of the South Carolina game. The injury kind of looked a little bit nervy, to be honest. The way the way it happened, it was kind of coming off the edge and but it sounds like it was like it was a minor issue and, and and should be good to go as for the rest of the team pretty healthy aside from the guys that were previously ruled out for the year after having surgery and all that um sounds like everybody else is pretty much healthy and um guys like caleb chapman got another week to get healthy after coming back from came back right before the bye so he had another week to heal um but eight weeks is a real grind to play um, so just, just listen to Jimbo Fisher on Monday. He said he thought the bye did, did a, you know, did a lot of good for his team to, to kind of rest up for a really, really challenging stretch to finish the season. I, th- I don't, I don't think they let up the gas pedal one bit with, with Auburn and Ole Miss and LSU to finish the year. I think they, they realize this, they've got a lot to play for the final four weeks, but, um, feel pretty healthy going into it. Yeah. So again, to, uh set up the SEC Western Division race. Alabama, of course, in control at 4-1, and one, but Auburn is 3-1, and one, and that's why I make the statement that it could come down to the Iron Bowl if yeah. Auburn takes care of business. Everybody kind of assumes Alabama will. Uh, Mississippi State and Ole Miss and Texas A&M with all two losses, so obviously they need help. Uh, this first major step for Texas A&M comes into play against Auburn. And, of course, if the Aggies can get Bama into a two-way tie, then head-to-head comes into play and the Aggies are in great shape. If it's more than a three-way tie, then, boy, it's anybody's guess. Then we've got to go through yeah. the, uh, the the tiebreaker rules that become so complicated from there.